Hello, chickadeebies. Just in the middle of the tree. What's going on, peeps? Let me pull you up on my phone. Uh, I see eyeballs. Buzz starts flying whenever I go live. My face itches. All right. I do not see comments on my iPad. What is going on? That's weird. All right. Rima Bachera. Rima Bachera. I finally see comments. You are my first commenter. Marie, Rima, make sure I have your mailing address. I don't know that I do. Who's excited for Gianna's first auction tonight? Hey, Vicki. Hi, Evelyn. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kay. What's going on, everyone? Hello, y'all. Hi, Vicki. Hey, Cheryl. I feel like I got fuzz flying. I swear to God. So I got a cute makeover today. We're going to make a sign. I actually have one of these hanging in my bedroom above my bed, and I was getting some messages because I did a little blurb uh, tease in Mike last night, and out, people were asking about the sign in my in my room above my bed. Hi, Joy. Hi, Colleen. So I figured we'll make a version of it, okay? So we're gonna use some Would You Bend, okay? These are two pieces from Would You Bend. And um, hey, Dewana. Hey, Georgia. Hi, Terry. And then this sign, I got this at um, the Goodwill for a whopping $4.66. I got this at my last Goodwill haul. I am going to be helping Gianna tonight. Yes, I will. Her auction starts, I think it's at 5 o'clock. I think it's at 5 o'clock and it's 2.30. Yeah, so I'm going to be helping her. So it'll it'll run very exactly the same as like my auction. So I'm so excited. I hope you guys um, are going to be on there uh, helping her sell her stuff so she can keep creating, which she's excited. I'm excited for her. This little thing is coming loose. This already has hangers on the back, which is nice. So, Lisa, you should have an auction. Hey, Jenny. What's going on, Sherry? Hi from PA. Um, so this sign, it's got some damage to it, but you know, I'm going to roll with it anyway. It's got like a little piece missing. We're going to paint over that anyway. And then it says, all because two people fell in love, but we're going to cover that up. So you're never going to see it. Yes, Laura Lee, it's going to be done right here in my craft room. I'll be with her, helping her out. I know this is kind of like a long, wonky project, so I'm just going to do my best to, um, hey, Rolla, to let you guys to, to get, get it all in. And I think it's going to be cute. And we're going to use a stencil, one of my new stencils from Essential Stencil. Um, and it says, Our Nest. It's going to be cute. And I'm going to paint it exactly how I did the one in my bedroom. Hello, Tammy Clark. Um, and so again, this is why I go to the Goodwill y'all and you can shop for such cool stuff because even if you don't like it, I like the shape of this sign, you can make it over. If you guys like my hat, um, this hat came from, yes, Janet, she does. It's Gianna Marie Boutique. Um, you bet. I know. Isn't that so funny, Jenny? <laughs> um, my hat, Maria Chapman, I'm pretty sure it was Maria Chapman. Uh, got me this hat. Isn't it cute? It says Yellowstone. She put a little crown on it. I wear it. You know, I'm a hat girl. I got my cowboy boots on. I'm digging a flannel. I've been into flannels lately. I don't know why, but I'm digging them. So, um, hey, from I love Boston. So anyway, we're going to make this sign. First thing I'm going to do is paint it. I am using some Paint Pixie Primer because I want to make sure all this gets covered up. Then we'll probably go over it with some regular white paint, some wax. Um, what did you buy for $4.99, Rula? Signs? So I'm using the Paint Pixie Primer in the color Coconut. Um, and sorry, I did not go live with y'all yesterday. Can I tell you? I was just like in a funk yesterday. Um, I wanted to go live, and then I ended up doing payroll and make, you know, paying all the bills, and I just did not feel like it. And I think I'm PMSing or something. Yeah, Sharon, I got this at the Goodwill. Goodwill has great flannels. I got like three of them last week when I walked in there. Um, yes, I blinged mine out, Lisa. Look at, Michael got me these for my birthday like three years ago. Look at them. 
And then I blinged them. I added all kinds of bling. Some of them have fallen off, but I can go back and redo them. But they're all blinged and sparkled. So I'm rocking my cowboy boots today. Hey, Julia. Hi, Bonnie. I, it might be a TD crystal. I think it is. I think this is the one that came in my, my Royal Funky Junk Bling Pack. Um, hey, Linda. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a fabulous and blessed Good Friday. Um... See, I'm covering that little thing up. You're never going to know it's there. So, um, are you guys all getting ready for Easter? We're having Easter here at our house this year. So, I have like 20 to 25 people coming over on Sunday. So, um, going to be a good time. It's going to be hectic. I got all the kids coming. Hey, Linda. Uh, so, anyhow... And then I do have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. I've got Ebby, you know, Ebby, they, the, the seamless, um, the undergarments that I uh, have an affiliate with, they're running a big sale. I got to do a post on that. They're giving, I think it's 35% off uh, for the next two days. So I'm going to do a post on that as soon as I get off of here with you guys. And then um, I got Happy Mail to go through too. I got some happy mail here and I got a I ordered a bunch of shirts from um, Amazon so I those are coming today I want to show you guys those too so maybe I'll do like a live try and I've got some stuff to show you from top shelf wardrobe I've just got I just didn't feel like doing a damn thing yesterday uh, menu we're having ham uh, my mom's bringing up a pasta salad, my sister-in-law's making a salad, I'm making my grandma's sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, charcuterie board, um, my sister-in-law's bringing a casserole, cheesecake pie, ice cream, you know, the whole nine yards. Lots and lots of wine, of course. Um, 45, Dawn, I mean, I thought I had a bag with 25. And I think these boots came from Amazon. Michael got them for me a couple years ago. I'm going to save Amazon. So see how I'm just painting this all white? This is just primer right now. Just primer. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, so, lots of good stuff. Today, I think, I don't know, Gianna did a live in my private group last night. You guys, who, who how many of you are in Royals that um, watched it? It was hilarious. My dog started throwing up while she was on live. Not kidding. Rocky started puking right on camera. Reba, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, Reba Rose has great friends. She just came out. Reba Rose, also, it's another thing I wanted to tell you. Reba Rose just came out with 27 new prints. And she's offering um, all of my Sparkle Chicks a 10% discount if you use the code SPARKLE. So keep that in mind. A little, a little perk for Re from Reba Rose. She was cute. Was that? No, she was so funny. Poor Rocky. He's doing fine today. He's actually up here with me today. The wind isn't blowing. The door and the window is open. But as long as that attic door doesn't creak, he will stay here with me. What am I missing over here, guys? I'm just going to try to do this in the camera. Aren't I funny? I don't want to... I want to get all that painted. Even though we're going to cover that up with black, I still want to paint it. I'm going to have to do this in the stages. I haven't made one of these signs in like probably seven years. I made that for Mike on our first anniversary or when we first got started dating or something like that. And then I made one for each member of his family, but I didn't use it. I used actual wood that I had purchased. So this is a little different. This is different because we're using um, a Goodwill find. Oh, seven piece silver, four night ruler. You got lucky. That's a great find. I don't know why he was sick. He just, Gianna was in my private group yes, last night and right on camera, he's there fiacking. But he's doing good today. Oh, Donna, I don't blame you for that. That's a tough one. I know, and, and I, my brother's been, I feel your pain in that because my brother, um, his birthday's coming up next week. He would have been 44. So we'll be celebrating, um, Jimmy's heavenly birthday this year. 
Last year was the first birthday we had without him and the first Easter. Um, I have printed my own rice, rice paper, Stacy, um, but my printer is not printing correctly. I need to get a new one, I think. It's printing in like a purple tone, so I've been buying. I've been buying the hard copies. Your Goodwill and Cali is not cheap. Ours is, I got this signed for $4, so it's not too bad. I am going to put one more coat of primer where these words are. Because I definitely, definitely do not want that to come through. Yeah, send me a picture rule. I want to see it. Yeah, I can only imagine. I, I know, Don. I, I see. I mean, it, I lost my brother and that was hard. But I see, I, you know, watched my parents deal with it. There's my Amazon package notification. I got, like, some cute shirts. And then, you know, I'm going to Dina's event next month um, in Kentucky. I'm a presenter there, so I just found out yesterday we're having a derby hat day on Saturday, so I ordered a derby hat. Um, I ordered a derby hat, so I'm going to be blinging that out that I can wear um, while I am in uh, Kentucky, and then... Shelly Stacklin and I are going to, with some other Sparkle Chicks and some other people that were going to Debbie's event, or Adina's event, and we're going to Nashville for a day, so I'm super excited about that. We ended up getting a, uh, hotels were ridiculously expensive, so I ended up finding a Verbo, and it's a condo right on the water in downtown Nashville for less than what it cost to stay at a hotel down there, so we're super excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing, next week we'll probably be doing derby hat makeover. Um, alright, so I think that's good. So, anyhow. It's got some gunky stuff on there. I don't want that. Alright, let's dry that and see how it looks. Oh, Deborah, that's it's so tough, isn't it? It's so tough losing people. I hate it. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about doing the second coat on the sides because I'm going to paint that black. You'll see why in a second. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I just got to make sure. And I think I'm going to go over this with one more, like a coat of regular white paint. That is Gianna, yes. Denise, you have a, I know. We're going to get there Sunday morning and then we leave Monday morning. So we'll have a whole day in Nashville. Um, just to look around and like literally we're within, shoot, I just screwed up, guys. Don't be like that, man. Screw it. Might have to sand that off. Um, I just did a big one. Don't paint over wet paint. Um, so, um, yeah, the house we found, it was on Verbo. And, uh, and it was like cheaper than a hotel room. <coughs> And we each have our own bedroom, so it's great. It's like a two-bedroom house. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, you know, we just hang out and yeah, this is gonna need one more coat of paint. You can tell this has a primer look. I might even sand this little bit right here. Oh well, Michael leaves for Raleigh on um Michael leaves for Raleigh. I think on the 14th, two weeks, 14, 15, 16, 17, something like that. I don't think I'm going to go with him, but I might. All right, so I'm going to keep this same brush, but I'm going to get rid of this. This. Now I'm going to go in with some regular paint. What kind of paint do I want to use? I got some paint. I did get paint yesterday. Oh, I'm going to have a Hobby Lobby. I got some new paint. Unless, do you guys, you know, I could use that linen color. Should I use the linen color? Um, I could. Or should I go in with white and wax? I'm going to go with white and wax. Yeah, hopefully it'll be better weather when he gets down there. Alright, so this is just regular premium acrylic chalk paint from DecoArt. 
Um, Rally's not far from you, Angela. I'll let you know if I just change my mind and I make my way down there. Oh, um, I will let you know. And we can do a little meet and greet. I'm gonna flip this around. That's what I did, I painted all that paint like a thing. Okay. Now this is regular paint over the, um, going right over that um, primer from Paint Pixie. Now this has a little bit of a gloss to it, which I like. So that'll be good. And I'm not gonna worry too much about this end because we're covering that up with the Would You Bend. But I'm not gonna put that on yet because I have stuff to do to this that I have to do first before I put the Would You Bend on. Look at the difference. See how the primer just made that nice and bright and white? Such I've never been to Nashville, so I am so excited. Um, I was thinking about taking my son Sam, but then Gianna's like, they're so strict with getting into the bars, it's probably not worth it. So um, I guess I'll just have to take the kids. I keep trying to think like maybe Florida, take them to Orlando maybe. We didn't get to go on spring break this year because um, of their different schedules. I'm gonna do this end. Maybe I won't even need to sound that part. Drove from Avon Lake to Pittsburgh. Oh, I love Pittsburgh. Avon Lake is near me. That's not too far. Kind of like neighbors. My friend lives there. Yeah. He used to go to Penn State. I think it's a nice area. Yeah, I've never been to Avon Lake, but I know it's like near us. Mm -hmm. All right, good. I don't even have to sand that, guys. I just kind of covered it right up. I'm not even going to worry about that hole because that's going to get covered up with the wood you bend. Now, I have done signs like this similar that you guys have probably remembered. I know I've done a couple in my private group. I'm not even going to hit this over here because that's all going to get painted black. I just want to make sure I don't have any bumpy edges. I don't want any, like, puddly paint, you know? Okay, I think that looks good. Look at that one. That Paint Pixie Primer worked like a champ. I think I'm going to save my brush. I always do that. I throw my brush in the water, then I end up needing it. I don't think more. Neither do I share. And yes, a bunch of us girls are going after Dina's event. I know Maria Ch Chapman, Susie, Linda, um, me, and Shelly Stafflin. So I'm super, super excited. Now these are the girls, uh, they're followers of Dina, they're going to Dina's event, and then we're all driving over to Nashville. I figure I'm an hour away from Nashville, I gotta go see it. Hey Claudia. Hey Diane. Mary's in after yeah, so I don't know if it would be worth for me to take him with me with with us, so maybe when he's twenty one I'll take him there for a trip. Okay, so we got this all dry. Now what I want to do is I want to paint the sides black, like that ring black. And then I'm going to go around and I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm just going to go, like not a pencil, but I'm going to do a black edge around the front of this. Oh, I'm praying for all you guys who have lost people. It's so tough, isn't it? And I think I'm just going to use like a short fat brush. I got some new brushes, kind of like this, and then I can just kind of sit there and go like this all the way around. So maybe I'll do the front top first, but I'm just going to use some black. Um, I guess I can use some black enamel from Folk Art. It's like my favorite. There is a lot of, yeah, so we're going to be, our, our condo that we're staying at is in like on the waterfront. I think it's about a 10 minute walk from like Broadway. So we're not driving. That's why I said I wanted to stay in downtown. I don't want to have to fight the traffic, but, um, so we'll just park our car at the condo and then we'll get an Uber. We'll walk. It's a pop in town. I'm so excited. I've never been there. So all I'm going to do guys is take my brush and I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to like be too crazy. I'm just going to try to get 
like the thickness of that brush like all the way down and we'll see how we go see I'm just trying to keep your brush fully loaded and I'm just following the line of the sign kind of like so See, just kind of giving it a little edge. This is how I did the one in my bedroom. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to give it, um, yes, enamel paint, I think it has like a nicer, um, it has like a nicer, I don't know, I just, especially like if you're painting uh, silver trays, they just seem to, um, it seems to stick. So to speak. So see, see how I did that? And then I'll go back and do the sides. Um, Dina, I will do a post on that too. Her she only had 50 tickets available. It is sold out, and um they do have virtual tickets available though. So you can get a virtual ticket, and I will post a link for that. Um, I just actually saw it in the group where she dropped that link, so I will do a post on that if you guys wanted to watch it uh, virtually. It's in Kentucky, it's in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Okay, I'm not gonna talk a lot because I really want this to be right. <sighs> it's always the nerve wracking part. A lot to see, yeah, I'm only gonna be there a day, so we're gonna try to get in as much as we can. And you see this spot like here that's like jacked up, not worried about it because see how what we're doing? See how we just framed it out? See? I promise it's going to be cool. Um, and I'm going to cover it right up with the black so hopefully it won't be that visible. And this will definitely be something that is going to be coming at the next auction. This will be up for grabs. I'm trying to do my best to keep it, so I'm not going to talk a lot. I do have a pretty steady hand. It's just sometimes my eyeballs don't, you know, my eyeballs see something different. So I, uh, I hope that it all, who I almost put a blob of big black paint right there. I'm trying to make it where it looks good. <laughs> Anyhow, what else is going on, guys? Um, yeah, I'm excited for Nashville. I'll be taking lots of pictures. I'll be going live from um, Nashville. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's It's been on my bucket list for quite a few years. Okay, I think this is looking good. It's around the curves. You kind of like have to be careful. I can't wait for this part to be done. Um, all right. And then we're going to seal it. And look what I did, guys, yesterday when I was in my crabby mood. Um, yeah, I know I'm going to let it. Look what I did. I mixed up a bunch of triple tape dirt clear. I made a boatload of it because um, I'm always using it. I'm going to clean off my brush here for a minute. How many of you all live in Nashville? Because if you do, you should come to Nashville on the 7th. We're going to be there the 7th. So see, when I start sketching over that, you can go back over and fix it. I'm just trying to get the, uh, all I'm trying to get right now is like the, I don't know, Patty. I'm hoping to run into Jason Aldean if you ask me, if you want to know what my bucket, what my secret crush is. I'm going to hope, I want to go into his bar. Maybe he'll be there. He's like my celebrity crush. Jason Aldean, love him. Um. 
I don't even know what's in Nashville. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've never been there, so I don't even know what to expect. I don't, I don't really know a whole lot of anything. I helped get up. No kidding. Is the Corvette plant? Um, I haven't been to Las Vegas in like since I'm 50 almost, so 20. I think I was 22 when I went to Vegas. It's almost been 30 years. Now see, this part is bumpy too. There's like a part, but we're gonna cover that up with Would You Bend, so I'm not gonna be too concerned if I screw up this part. See, it's like, it's like that MDF stuff, so it kind of has, it has some warping, I guess, is what you would call that. Can't give your sweet, precious husband. No, my husband's the best, but, um, I've been to Pe Pigeon Forge, Pigeon Forge, um, and I've been to Knoxville. I feel like my brush is loose. I've been to Knoxville. I had friends that live in Knoxville. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, y'all. I just keep stopping because I want to see where my brush is going on this board. I'm just kind of letting the shape of the board carry my hand. Um, I, lo I know I do too. I love I mean, at a volleyball tournament in Franklin, which is about. Yeah, so we were even looking at hotels in Franklin. I saw that and I was like, no, that's too far away. Um, I want to stay. You know, I want to stay where all the action is. Um, go to Tootsie's. That's what my husband calls me, Tootsie. What does your husband's or significant others call you guys? Michael calls me Tootsie and Baby Girl. And I love when he calls me Baby Girl. Yeah. I'm sorry this is taking so slow, but what is a tray Gianna did? Yeah, so that's some of that stuff is Gianna's behind me. And like I said, she's having her auction tonight, y'all. Today, I think it's at 5. Does somebody know for sure? I'm pretty sure it's 5 o'clock. And she's got about 20 things, I want to say, so... All right, guys, we're getting down here to the end. Yay. I think I did good, right? See? So now I'm just going to go in real quick, and I'm going to fill in these sides just like this. Just to give it a more thing. I call my dog baby girl. Oh, it's at 7, Opa? Okay, 7. I lied, y'all. I thought it was at, I don't know why I thought 5 o'clock. Maybe when she talked about it originally, it was five o'clock. I don't know why I thought five o'clock. Okay, so now I'm just gonna paint all this up. Oh, is that my Amazon? No, who it is. I'm so excited, I wanna show you guys my tops. I got some cute tops from Amazon. I wanna show you guys. And I got some cute stuff from that um, Top Shelf wardrobe too. I got a, I guess I'll just do a live try on. A live try on or I'll just record it. I don't know, I gotta show it to you, I'm excited. And then my derby hat comes tomorrow. So I'm super excited to make over a derby hat. Jan's auction, is it seven? Oh no, then, okay, then that, that's what it is. It's at seven, I don't know why I said five. It's at seven. Don't pay attention to me. I don't know what I'm doing. Which is good because that'll give me time to make dinner. I bought some steaks at Sam's Club last night, but I ended up going out to dinner with Mike last night. So, um, 
you know, my husband says, hey, do you want to go to dinner? I was like, uh, yeah, that means I don't have to cook. Hi, Mary Beth. Nothing that even by name just talks to me. What, Annette? Who talks to you? Oh, he just, <laughs> I got to you. I got you. See, I forget what I asked five minutes ago. I call Michael Sugar or Babe. You guys, if you missed my reel last night or my story, go flip and watch that. I've been getting him. He's going to get me back here eventually. You know it's coming. <laughs> because every time I get in bed, I've been videotaping him <laughs> when I move the bed up because he's so funny. Okay. All right, one more side, and then we can get on to the fun stuff. You seen it? Yeah, it's so funny. Cracks me up. He's a good sport and just goes along with my shenanigans. Whenever he gets annoyed with me, you know what I say to him? I'll look at him and I'll say, Hey, you asked me, remember? That's what I tell him. You asked me, right? And he's like, serenity now. Serenity now is what he says to me all the time. Okay, so that's done. I think it looks good. Okay, here's what we got. I'm going to dry it now. See how we just frame that all out to be its own sign? Now, I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna have to work in phases on this one. See that? I don't like, I don't want that to screw up when I go to put the wax on it. It's like a thick bubble of paint. I want it to be smooth. I'm just going to let it dry really good. Because I, I want this paint to be dry before I start waxing it. Because if I wax it and it's wet, all that black paint's going to, all that paint's going to peel off. A bed squisher, right? Yeah, see, now you guys know how to drive your husband nuts. Let's get in the bed, click the button. And he was laying there so peacefully, and then here I come along. And I watched a really great movie last night that just came out. It was called, um, it's called uh, On a Wing and a Prayer. It's on Amazon Prime. It was really good. He fell asleep during the whole thing, so he's going to watch it again tonight because he's, he's tired. But it was a really good, based on a true story, one of my chicks referred it to me, and it was a great watch. Let me make sure. I'm going to try to get my butt up to Schoolhouse Salvage today, too. So I, I, I want to go up there. I'm looking for a new entryway table. Have you guys ever seen my house videos where you first walk in my front door and there's like that, there's like two columns, like Roman columns with like a glass top? I hate glass, y'all. It shows dust and fingerprints. So um, I want to put... I want to put, I want to keep the columns, but I want to paint them to look like wood, like more rustic. And then, hey, Maria Chavin. And then I want to, um, I want to get a piece of live edged wood, you know, like real rustic and lay that instead of the glass. And then I have lamps there. So I want to make the lamps. I want to recover those with cowhide and make them more rustic and make that whole area more uh, rustic right now. I'll, I'll show a picture and I'll show you what I want to do. So I'm going, I'm going next week to look, I was talking to a, a gentleman on Facebook Marketplace who has live slabs of these beautiful um, wood slabs and he's got the sizes I need. So me and Mike are going to go look at that. I have solar flowers. 
Looks like you got black on your visor. Oh, no, it's just fuzz. Look at that. It's black. It's dog hair. Oh. All right, so. Now, because I want to wax all this, I'm going to let this, I'm so worried about waxing it until it's dry. What we're going to do It's dry. Okay, I think it's dry. Now I want to put on there. Now I know the would you bend pieces. Um, you have the same table with columns. Yes. So I want to get rid of the glass and I want to put a live edge, right? Don't you think that would be cool? So I know these are going to go on down here, but I want to put the stencil on now. I'm going to do these part last, but I want to get them somewhat put on here so I kind of know where they're going to be at. Isn't this going to be really pretty? Look at You see where I'm going with it now, folks? Um, here's the stencil. It says, Our Nest. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I want to keep the columns, but I'm going to paint them like dark and kind of streak them to look like wood. And then... Um, and then uh, I wanted to get rid of the glass and like everything that's on that table is like light or white and airy and I kind of want to warm it up some and do like more, um, you know, like rustic. And the lamps, I like the two ant lamps, but I want to like change those out with cowhide. Um, yeah, because you know, I'm getting my chair, my, 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 my chair. So I think a live edge would work. I like the columns, I just don't like the glass. I hate glass. Glass is a pain. All right, so this is the stencil. It says Our Nest. And this is where I am going to attempt to center it. I am so bad at this stuff. Um, but I'm just going to do my best to make sure it looks good. I am going to take it down. I'm going to stand up. Um, what do you guys think? I think, hey, you know what? It's going to be what it's going to be. And then I did get a print from TaylorMade Canvases, which is on my link tree. They sent me a horse print. So that's why I kind of want to like change all that up. Now I am going to use black paint right here on this stencil. I have some left. I'm just taping this down. So I don't want it shifting and I know Essential Stencil sent me some brushes but they're dirty so I can't use them. I know offload Janet. I'm, I'm trying to get better but I can fix this. I can touch it up a little bit. And I know you all say less is more, so see, I offloaded. Um, Allie, my nails are acrylics, so I'm going to start over here, I guess. Can you guys see? I think so. Um, see this? This. I don't know that this brush is the greatest. Or maybe I offloaded too much. I think this brush sucks, y'all. Where's my other one? Do I have my essential stencil one? I wonder if I could just clean it. the turntable thing. I don't know. This is the black one. I want this one. I think I could use it. I just kind of rinse it off. Let's see if I could get it somewhat dry. Swirl, says Denise. Really? But then doesn't it get up underneath there? Oh, Peggy. Yes, indeed I have. I did. I stenciled a table many years ago. Let's see. Let's 
see if this brush, this is the stencil, the essential stencil brush. And you're seeing swirl? That don't make no kind of sense. Oh, but that's way easier. It's not going to go up underneath there. If it is, I'm blaming you, sister. That's way easier. I have to say swirling is easier if your brush is unloaded unlo and offloaded correctly. Did this yesterday. She taped it. Well, I have to say this is 10 times easier than pouncing. But is it gonna look weird? Do I do do I need to dry it and do a second coat? I don't want to see. I feel like it needs to be a little bit brighter. Okay, going in, offloading offload your brush and swirl. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so Okay, the second coat is definitely off the second coat definitely darkened it perfectly. All I did was dry it in between. I'm not even having to go back in and get more paint. All right. Maria. I know it's backward to you guys, but it says our nest. I got it right. And I think it looks centered. It looks good. Okay. So let's dry that. Oh, this is exciting. Um, now I'm going to soak these. Get those out of the way. Since I'm stenciling, I'm going to remove anything that is dirty because I don't want to get it on my sign. Okay. Let's try it, and now I can go in with our wax, and this is what's really going to make the, the sign look more. Oh, Lydia, you bought a way card. Don't you love it? Peggy, I have to say, swirling was way better. Swirling was the ticket to win it. Okay. Maria Chapman, wasn't it you who made me this hat? I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, so we have that. And I, I will flip the camera at the end of the video and I will show you guys uh, what it looks like. But now I'm going to grab my, my favorite wax. And... I need to like toss. That's garbage. reusing the same like wax brushes over and over but after a while after sometimes they get they get crappy hey Linda Merrill um that's what I thought Maria yeah I was feeling kind of Beth Dutton-y today all right so I got some dark and I'm just gonna take it in here with my clear I'm like scraping the sides of the barrel on this can but waste not want not now I'm gonna do you guys know the drill um I am going to just go over it. I'm not even worried about getting down in those holes right there.
because we're covering that up with the would you bend. And then you just, you know me, I don't like to really do anything that is like bright white. But look at the difference. See how that just toned it all out? Love it. Yeah, uh, Maria Chapman, you could sell these and make a fortune. Okay, so see how that, I'm gonna grab another paper towel. I'm gonna keep it nice and clean. are getting it now it's all coming together right I like um, when it all starts coming together and you can kind of get the feel for it see how pretty that looks now it's not that bright white um, you could check this if you want you could you can do like you can make like a nice cute checkered you know uh, outside if you want I'm just doing this just like the one I have in my bedroom so that's why I did it like that and like I said so now Let's put this off to the side somewhere. I don't have a lot of room over here. Oh, I see something else too. Um, late, hey Terry. I got some right here. Just gotta... we can seal it and on the one in my bedroom I also took those uh, tacks you know they're like that um, it almost it's what I did on my coffee table like around the cowhide it's kind of like what are they called nail head trim you can nail head trim all around here if I have some left I'll do it with you um, I asked that god I have to find it I don't know what I did with it so now we're gonna paint our would you bend now for that I'm going to use my oil rubbed bronze and I'm going to um, just kind of keep it old world. Hey Vicki, you're getting a pedicure. Um, oh, we have a new sparkle chick in the house. Welcome. All right. So now I'm going to do uh, black enamel. And this is Would You Bend, which you can find all of that stuff in my link tree. There's black, you know, I have little jars to put it in. Um, and I got that one. And, and then I'm gonna use some Paint Pixie New Penny Paint, okay? And I'm just gonna mix it in with the black to get that oil rubbed bronze color that I am so fond of, our royal bronze. Yes, it says our nest, I'm sorry. I know I'll flip my camera at the end and show you guys um, what it says. I bought a bunch of new brushes too. Hi Deborah at Hobby Lobby the other day too. So I'm just gonna stir this up. And of course this is gonna get some bling. You know, you can add bling. Um, the one in my bedroom actually has two fleur-de-lis at the end of it. And they're the fleurs from Hobby Lobby that they still carry. Oh, see, I kind of like that. This is real dark and oil rubbed bronze, almost like a black oil rubbed bronze. I like it, so I'm leaving it just like that. Maybe a little tad more. Thank you guys for all that spark when I see it in the comments. Okay. You guys are so excited. I got Facebook verified. I feel like, you know, I feel, I feel, finally, they know I'm like a real human. Okay, look at how beautiful that is. That's royal bronze right there. Your mixture is black enamel, yes, with new penny, correct. Can you use triple thick over liquid gold? Yes, ma'am, you can, Mary Beth. Yes, you can use Duraclear 
You can also use DuraClear Triple Thick Combo over um, Liquid Gold. You can use it over, um, and you can also use it over uh, Rub and Buff. I think you can use that combination because they're water-based, not oil-based. Like wax will take off liquid gold and rub and buff. So I'm doing the top first and then I'm going to do it this second. Then I'll go around and make sure I get in all the little all the little nooks and crannies. Thank you, Pam, for the stars. Hey, Angie, you just fell into my channel. Oh, Peggy, lots of prayers to you. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. We got some good prayer warriors in here. I pray for all of you guys all the time. It's like we've become like an extended family, haven't we? Like we chat in messenger. Like I see, I'm the only one that looks at my messages guys. So if you ever hear back in a messenger, it's me you're talking to nobody else. I'm really particular on that. I told Brittany, I was like, I'll take care of my own messages because I feel like that's who you want to talk to. Um, Look at that. Amazing. Look at how pretty that looks. I'm going to let that sit and I'm going to go on to the next one. Hey, Judy from Ohio. I'm in Ohio. Um, and look, I'm probably going to have some left over. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that paint and I can scrape it into my, my little glass jars that I bought for that reason. So I'm not throwing away all this good paint. And it covers great. I, this is only going to need one coat. So they covered the wood you bend really great. And then the wood you bend is going to, it's going to really pop when we add in the rub and buff. See how well that covers? It's so smooth. You would never know that this is a piece of wood. It looks like, you know, a, a clay mold. And if you know me for any bit of time, you know that clay in me Myself and clay mold just don't jive. I, they just don't like me and I don't like them. I mean, I have used them. I, I figure I, if I keep practicing, I'll get better at them, but every time I use them, I don't. Every time I use it, I find that I still suck at it. So, um, but I do keep trying y'all. That's, that's the whole key, just, just keep trying. Just keep swimming. I have not checked out Timu yet. Um, I need to, I, I just actually heard about Timu, uh, if I'm even saying it right, Temu, Timu, Shamu, whatever, like a couple weeks ago and I thought it was like a bogus website and then one of y'all said, no, it's legit, but I need I need to. Um, and where, where is it? Is it like, is it like Amazon? Is it China based? I mean, where is it coming from? Or is it like coming from here? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know where they're at, where they're located, what, what they're all about. I've never, do they have an app? I don't even know. I just saw the ads like when I was scrolling on Facebook. Could you make us a cheat sheet for all the products and what works well together? Oh gosh, sometimes you just have to wing it. Like, everything pretty much works well with everything. The only thing that doesn't work with everything is, like, you can't, you know, use Mod Podge. You have to be careful with the liquid golds. The liquid gold and the rub and buff, those are the only things I would say you have to know how they react. Because sometimes they do react, they'll peel off, you know, with, like, your stuff, with your gold. It's out of California, and they have an app. Do not order the wreaths. 
designed by Beauty Uses Timu. Interesting. I'm going to check it out. I'm still an Amazon girl. Alright, so we're just drying these. Uh, I want to get all that paint nice and dry. driveway is right out there, so I thought I heard a car door. It's like a cheap Amazon for craft supplies. Others close your name it. Oh, no kidding. Go watch Do It on a Dime. She did a great review. Oh, interesting. Unless you like to iron. No, I do not like to iron here. Carol. Hmm, I'm going to check it out. Are they like new? Why is everybody just talking about team now? Alright, I think these are dry. Now, I want to get my... I'm just going to go right in with some um, antique gold rub and duff. Um, less than two hours. Once you order from me, you get eight texts and emails all day long. Oh, see, that that is a turn off for me. I get so much spam right now as it is. Hey, but you know what? I should probably save this paint Let before it dries up. Let me get one of those little bottles. I don't remember where I put them. Isn't that horrible? Where did I put those little bottles? Oh, I stuck them up here somewhere. See, I got the cute little bottles. See if I could scoop some of this paint into there. See if I could. See? I'm learning, folks. I'm just going to try to get it go in there so I could save it. For next time, maybe I should have gotten bigger bottles. See, look at all that paint. I would have wasted it. So now I can keep it. Now I can keep it. Still got some more on there. That a deal breaker. Yeah. Some crazy stuff going on in the world nowadays, isn't there? The world, but our own country. Everything is just backwards, it seems, lately. There was, uh, I live in Ohio, and, um, Yesterday, I heard that in the school system next to ours, West Geauga High School in Chesterland, I think it, where West G is, is that um, a kid, somebody had found a, a, a bullet in the bathroom, and they reported it to, um, look at all that, I saved all of that, look at that beautiful bronze color. It's flipping awesome. Um, so they reported it and they pulled security footage um, security footage from um, oh I should have folded the plate. Good idea Peggy. Um, baby food jars is a good one. Yeah. Um, they pulled security footage and, and saw all the people going in and out of the bathroom and then they, they checked everybody's lockers and one kid had a, a a pistol and it was unloaded but then he had like three fully full magazines and then a notebook inside with a whole list of names of people he was going to take out. So they, they arrested him and they charged him immediately with, I think, intent to murder or something like that. And that was like right down the street from where I live. So that's scary. I don't know anything else about it. 
all I'm doing, guys, is just, you know, we're just letting it catch wherever it wants to go. Yeah, it's super scary. Like, the, that's where you're supposed to, like, feel safe to send your kids, you know? I don't think twice about it when I drop my kids off in the morning. Or Jack, now Sam's graduated. It's still it's scary. And then my other, my older son was telling me, um out by like where he goes to school college he said a kid was doing a dare he said a kid was doing a dare and it was like 12 30 at night and was dared to go run in the street streaking like naked and um a car was driving i don't think it was speeding I'm not, i don't know the story yet but he uh went through the intersection and he hit this 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 kid that was out there streaking in the middle of the road. I told my son, that's why you just don't do stupid crap. No, Elizabeth, it's like one over. It's West Geauga. I know you're thinking you're moving out here. It's West Geauga. Um it's West Geauga. They're a little bit more north of us, um, but it's not no, it's not it's not Kenston. It's West Geauga School District. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. It's craziness. And then that story, I don't know if that kid perished or not with the who got hit by the car who was running naked. I told my son, I was like, that's why you don't do crazy stuff. Just, you know, don't be dumb. Because accidents, freaky accidents can happen. There was one girl that I saw, it was back in my day, uh, joy riding in the car, you know, being stupid, and her driving in her boyfriend's car, and with her freaking body out the window, like, hey, and boom, smacks the mailbox. Yeah. Pretty, pretty sad. And that's why I tell you, like, don't ever let anybody hang out of your car. Like, just, like, you have to be smart. Here is the difference. With, without rub and buff, with rub and buff. So see how pretty that's going to be on there. So I need to do the other one. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a crazy, crazy world. And I know some people are all like, you know, I, I'm, that's where it gets kind of like, I, I, I'm, I don't even want to say it out loud, but I will, because maybe they need to start making teachers, uh, I don't know, something. It, and you know what, it's not like, I don't even know how they're getting, how, how this kid, he was 18 years old, he got those guns. I don't even know how that happens, who they were belonged to. But, you know, if you have that, you have to be smart. We have those all over our house. But, you know, it's you, you have to educate your children and whoever. Like, it's just, I don't know. I grew up around them myself. I lived out in the country. My grandpa was, you know, a backwoods country. It's never a big issue like it is now. It's scary. Um, okay. I went through training and now conceal. Absolutely. See, I'm all for that, Sarah. Um, my goddaughter is calling me. I'm on a live. Um, yeah, I have mine. I don't need, well, I, I have my conceal and carry, but you don't even need it now in Ohio. But, but again, I'm a big advocate, you know. Yes. Guns do that, but it's also, they just don't sit there and do it on their own. It's usually people behind it that is causing the problem. They have no common sense. I swear, that's what's, la you know, that's my biggest, like, pet peeve, is the lack of common sense in our country. I'm not kidding. Like, where did it all go? <laughs> I don't even get it. Don't even understand it. I'm glad my kids are getting older and out of the school system because... It's ridiculous. It's not even the kids. Some of the adults, too, have any common sense. Um, anyway, here we go. Now, I probably should paint the bottom, too. But I could do that later. Look how pretty. See? Now, hmm. 
So now we're going to put these bad boys on here. I know. See, that's what's weird. Nobody thought about that. Um, no, Peggy, one of my, my sparkle chicks uh, made this for me. She blinged it out for me. So see how I'm just going to put that right there. You just have to get it pretty much lined up with how you want it. So see, it covers that hole. Isn't this going to look so pretty? Do you see where I'm going with it now, chicks? Isn't that going to be pretty? Um, so all I want to do is, I know, I'm going to have some time to work with it so you kind of know where it's got to go. Just got to make sure it's straight. All right, so I'm going to get out my crappy wood glue because I did forget to buy this at Hobby Lobby the other day. Let's see if I can get Eddie out of here. Now, I am going to heat this up just to be on the safe side of caution because heat just, I think it reacts better with the glue when it's heated up. So from like here down, I need to glue it. Uh, Jack, you have a halo on, no wig, just a halo. Yeah, so, so you can do, like, you can make over anything, just about. Um, there's so many cool things that you can do. Let's see if I can get some. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to go in like this. And I'm just going to drop a bollop. And I am going to use a brush here for this one. I'm just going to brush all that glue on. And again, you guys heard me say this a gajillion times. I'm not going to really worry about anything seeping off because this glue, I use the Gorilla Glue wood glue. You want to use wood glue if you're using a wood you bend. It does, um, it does dry clear. Even if you get little, you know, seepage or whatever, it's going to dry clear. So don't stress. But keep that glue going and then get it on your piece pretty quickly. The only thing I'm going to do is kind of just wipe that off and then drop it like it's hot. And some glue in there, some yucky glue. Like I said, it will dry clear. Just trying to find out the right. brush and you could just wipe out all that excess glue if you see it squeezing through. Let me see. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think that's about right. I'm just trying to kind of look at it from behind to see. Yeah. So you want it to be centered. Sometimes looking from the back helps too. You can align it up even better. I think that looks perfect. And then I'm just going to heat it and let that glue set. And then I'll flip it over and we'll do the other side. Working towards winning that bottle, right? Everybody wants that bottle. Which I can't blame you because it is a stunner. I won't lie. That's one of my... See? See? I give away good stuff in my group. I try not to be chintzy because, you know, it's a paid group, so I like to give back to y'all. I saw a of you covering your coffee table with leather. Yes. Uh, I actually do not have a video on that, um, unfortunately. I, I have covered many things. I did my clock in my laundry room with the leather. I did that right after my brother died. I don't want, I'll never forget that. That was like my craft therapy session. Okay. Uh, some kids have no comments. Some parents don't either. True that. Um, so here's what we got. See that side so far? Isn't it going to be pretty? Now I'm going to flip it around. 
and we're going to have to do the other side, this one, and then heat it up. And then I do want to add a little bit of gold detail to the letters just to incorporate, you know, the gold in here. The clock, yeah, the clock. I did that all by myself up here. I think it was the day after Jimmy died I did that. So again, same thing here. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it... No, did I just screw it up? See, we got to get this... Uh, I did I scratch? What the heck did, is that? What did I get? I think it was paint. Oh, it's rubbing buff. Gosh dang it. What takes off? Rub and buff? Wax. A little bit of clear wax right there. Oh crap. Crap the bed, Fred. What am I doing? I'm making a mess. I just want to take off that junk right there. I got some gold rub and buff from laying that thing down on top of it. See, go wax. Wax takes rub and buff off. Okay, now that's gone from there. I didn't want that to be on there. So I'll put it over here and heat it up. Yeah, Rocky's okay today, Dee. Seems to be. You wanna see him? Bubba, Bubba Louie. Bubs, what are you doing? He's ignoring me. Bubba. Rock. He is totally ignoring me right now. Do you see this? Bubba, Bubba Louie. Rock. <gasps> Bubba Louie. Good. Yes. All right, Bubba. I love you. You go way down now. My goodness, he's seepy. All right. You a good boy? Are you my boy? Are you my favorite? Okay. He plays him all right this morning. He was outside playing. Oh, they're right here now. He's lying right behind my chair. Right behind my chair. No, he was awake. He was looking at me. <laughs> he was just ignoring me. He ignored his mom. He is like no loving for me now. He's so funny. Yeah, this side, okay. I had to think about it for a minute. So we're going to do the same thing, brush on your glue, get your piece kind of like warmed up. I think that helps a lot. I might have taken too much glue. I was putting my makeup on this morning and he came in the bathroom to sit with me and uh Man, I picked dog hair off my face for 20 minutes. It's just floating in the air. This week it's supposed to be really nice outside, so I'm going to take him outside. I'm going to give him a bath because he doesn't like going to the groomers. He fights people, so i got to give him my bath. Um, he's paying. Here we go. <laughs> um, they are the best. All right. See? Dog hair. Okay. I always say if you buy one of my pieces, you're going to get a rocky hair in there somewhere. Okay, so now I'm going to put this down right here, I think is where we went with it. Oh, right there. Yeah, 
somewhere like that. And then I'm just going to take that excess glue that I see, just, and then I'm just going to press it down. And remember, look at the back side of it, because you can kind of see what you got going on. And then look at it, kind of, and tweak it as you need it. I think that looks good. And I do see, I do see one little scuff mark here, which I want to cover that up. Yep. Good. The sign says our nest. I will flip my camera when I'm done and give you guys a good view of it. And then just press this together and then I'm gonna take um, one of these tiny little brushes I'm gonna try I'm gonna take some liquid gold and I'm gonna show you but see here look at what we got so far can you guys see it look how pretty see it's just like a a nice custom sign I just clocked myself in the chin and then I'm gonna stand up and kind of look down over it to make sure that um, it's golden. I think it looks good. Now I'm gonna take this skinny little brush and yeah, when we're done, I'll stand back and hold it up for you. And I'm going to, you know what? I'm gonna do this last. I'm going to, um, right now we have to, uh, We have to use um, our Make It Shiny. So I want to use, um, um, what am I trying to say? My Triple Thick Dirt Clear mixture. And then we'll add some bling and then we'll be done, y'all. How fun was that project today? Hi, Vicki. Oh, crap the bed, Fred. Gianna's got her stuff over there for the sale. I'm just tossing wet paint in there like it's, um, hey, Peggy, our prayers worked. Thank God. That's excellent news. My fingers have so much paint on them. They feel weird. But I did go ahead and make yesterday when I was in my funk, I did go ahead and make a bunch of triple thick DuraClear mix. Yeah. Um, no, this is, isn't this pretty? I got this at TJ Maxx, y'all. It's sterling silver. I don't know what kind of stone it is, but it's like purple side stones, and then it's got like a big, and my birthday is in September, so um, it looks like a sapphire. Oh, gosh, I knew this was going to happen when I made this yesterday. I was like, oh, I'm never going to be able to get it open. Yeah. Well, I hope I can get it open. Usually heat works but this is metal, say a prayer, can't, you want to see my boots, my boots, my cowboy boots, look at, heating it up, work like a champ, okay, so I'm just going to dip in, brush it off, and then we're just going to go ahead, I think this is too big, and we're going to, um, this is good, and we want to just clear our sign, I'm, you're a September baby too, yeah, um, now this is on there, that wood glue dries in no time at all, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to start out just by laying a coat of triple thick DuraClear. I'm not even going to do the side because on the sides I want to put that, um, 
I don't know if I have it here with me right now, but I'm going to put that stuff um, that looks like that looks like, um, what do you call it? What am I trying to say, folks? Nail head trim. Nail head trim is what I'm going to put on there. But see how I take that triple thick dirt clear mixture? Um, and you could put it right over any, and this is, this is liquid, not liquid gold. We used rub and buff. And see, and it's just going to give you like a really beautiful shine, which is what I like. I like shiny things. And then it's going to just give us a nice shine on our, on our, on our sign. The sign Mary says our nest. Um, no, I don't have the boots in my link tree. I got them on, my husband got them on eBay a couple years ago for me for my birthday. So I don't have a link for that, but I can search for something similar and I could maybe find you guys. I'm pretty good at finding stuff. I have the brand name inside the boot, so I can maybe find them. And if I do, I'll do a post for y'all. Hey, Eleanor, I'm glad you're here too. We're just making this, it's an old, I'm going to have to go back and screenshot the beginning of this video to get a before and after. But see the difference? I don't know if you can see it. See how it's shiny? Just gives it like a nice sheen. Um, Oh, look, there's a dog hair. See what I mean? Dog hair everywhere. Okay. And I use two, three parts triple thick, one part, two parts DuraClear. I know some people do one part uh, DuraClear. I use two. It's just how I roll. I'm going to do the sign first. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all the way around that. And then we go up and do this. And that's just going to, and that's just one added, one other added layer of, you know, protection for whatever it is you're making. And I like the sheen of the triple thick dirt clear. Looks pretty, pretty good. All right. So I'm going to soak that. It says our nest. And I'll, I'll flip my camera here in a second. Now I am going to try to be good and just wipe this on the side so it doesn't get gross. And if your lid sticks, all you have to do is put some heat on it. Put some heat on it and it'll pop it right off. Thank you, Gail. So I'm gonna dry this. Let's see, there's one little thing there I don't like, so just grab a little brush and just, it's got like a little what do you call those things? A puddle. I don't want a puddle. Got it. Oh, there's one more. See, like in the ornate, you have to be look for little puddles. You don't want any puddles of stuff. A little smear of it. I know I need to do that. Hey, Nicole. All right. See, that, that stuff dries super quick. You can even put two coats on here. I think just one is good. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my, look at how pretty, uh, let me finish it. And then I'll, I'll stand back and let you guys see it. I'm going to go in with my um, liquid gold. Hey, Sandy Kish. And I am going to just take a little bit and all I'm going to do is just a little bit like highlight Just 
like on some of these letters. You know, you're just kind of giving them a little oomph. And I just follow it all the way around there. Almost like a drag, you know, like when you're doing drags on checks. Just a little something something. There. Yes, yeah, 7 p.m. is Gianna's auction tonight. All right, so, wait, we need to add bling, y'all. Come on, it's not a funky junk piece if I don't have bling. It's gonna get some old world bronze bling if I'd like to have two that are the same is my goal. Um, so that's more over here. My fleur de lis from my bling pack, the Toy Devil Royal Funky Junk Bling Pack. That's a pretty one. I'm just trying to find two that are the same. So I can do one on each side. Oh, this one would be a good one. I probably don't have another one of these. A prayer, maybe I do in here somewhere. That would be a good one. Maybe I'll have to get more. This one's a good one, too. No, it's not the same. See, I have so much, but they're never the same because I use the ones over and over again that I like. I, I had two of these. I do have two of these. It says our nest, but see, I want to put some bling up here. Um, on on the sign, so I gotta find something that I like. Now it says our nest. I could do a bird. Pearls look pretty too. Like this cameo looks pretty. Believe it or not, the cameo looks kind of cool on there. Hi, Lena. Um, You know, get, didn't give my school son my address. I've got goofy girl. It's on. Is it? Yes, Kathy Canova. They know that you're what happened. Uh, we're all praying for you. And just they said, I think they said they talked to your niece. I like the ones with sparkle better, better. But just keep in contact with them, and they'll they're holding it for you because it ain't going anywhere. I mean, it's my stuff. So if I tell them to sit on it, they're gonna sit on it. Um, I hope. <laughs> Um, I just need two of the same. Thank you for the stars. Uh, Jackie, uh, Gianna, Gianna's, Gianna Marie Boutique. That's my son's girlfriend and she's going to be having, I like that either. I'm going to have to look for, what the heck is, I'm going to have to look for the right kind of blingo. I'm not, I'm not finding it. Um, nothing's kind of jiving with me. Even this one. This one I like, but I don't. So if anything, maybe I'll just add a bunch of bling um, with the from the complete, you know, totally dazzled rhinestone applicator kit. That's not bad. But it's not screaming at me either. Um, I wish the screen was going the right way. I don't understand what you mean. It's going the right way for me. <laughs> That's what I know. I do not flip my camera. Can't do it. It makes me sick. I do not like flipping my camera. I don't know how people go live and flip their camera because I can never tell. It's opposite. I like doing a mirrored recording because it looks like I'm looking in a mirror and I know if I want to go this way, I go that way. If I want to go this way, when you do a other, other way, oh my word. It's like to show something on this side of the screen. I have to actually move in the opposite direction. It makes me crazy.
cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So, sorry, not sorry. Um, anyway, I will, however, flip my camera for you guys because our sign is done and I told you I would. I'll take a step back and I'm going to show you guys. So now you can see it the right way. And you're going to see how stupid I am because I really don't know. Um, see? You have to go opposite. But there it is. See? It says our nest. And you guys can see it now. And everything's backwards, so I don't know what way I have to move. But there you go. I'm just going to stay here. Cheese! So see, it says our nest. I think we did good. Might be a little off centered, but I don't think so. I think I think I did it. I did a good job. Ooh. Now, I do have Happy Mail. If y'all want to stick around and do Happy Mail, like people that just sit here in front of a camera with it, I give you big kudos because it literally, like, I I couldn't do it. It like I don't even know where to look. Um, but here you go. It says our nest. See, I'm leaning to the right, but it looks like I'm going to the left. So there you go. You can let that dry. You can hang it on the wall. And I think it's really cute. And now I'm going to reflip my camera. There. Now I feel human. Thank you, Anne. Who wants to open some happy mail with me? Because I got happy mail. Um, let me put this out to the side somewhere. Let that dry. I think it turned out really pretty. Really pretty. Of course you want to see happy mail. Okay, good. Oh, it's lost some bling. Okay. Okay. I got this at Hobby Lobby the other day. Isn't it cute for my kitchen? I love it. Um, that's not happy mail though. Um, yeah, I hope you guys do make one because they are a lot of fun, that's for sure. Um, all right. And I've got some Reba Rice paper to show you. No, Mickey, that'll go in my next auction for sure. Um, this is from Laurel McKenzie. And your shirt's coming in. Ah, Cheryl, let's check. Amazon, Amazon. Oh, yes, they were delivered today. I'm going to do a try on, though, for you guys, though. Uh, Christina, you don't need to... Uh, be a prude. Did you, um, are you in Royals? I think so, right? If you're in my, my paid private group, Royal Sparkle Chicks, and you go to the Royal Crowns for Chicks, you automatically get approved. Um, because you're in Royals. Um, if you're not in Royals, all you have to do is go to my blog that's pinned in the link tree and, um, it'll, just sign up right then and there, and then, or let me see, Kristen, or did you, or did you get it? Did you, oh, you bought it today. Let me see. I probably didn't even get the uh, email yet. Let's see. Can someone check my email? And since this morning, I get so many. There it is. Okay, I just got it. Yeah, so did you already, here, did you already request access to the group? And then as soon as I know that you, uh, I verify payment, then you're in there. And you're going to have so much fun with that. Christina Martin, approve. You're in now, sister. Thank you very much. My little crown tutorial. I need to make another one. You know why? Because the guts ate my last one. I'm excited for you to fix up the king in the chair back there. Yeah, uh, Gus knocked that off the floor the other day and a little tiny piece off the bottom broke, but I can fix it. Um, you got the IOD lemon transfers, aren't they? I love lemons. They're so easy. Okay, so this is from L Laurel McKenzie. McKenzie, yes. I hope she's in here. Laurel, are you in here? If not, Laurel. Um, let's see. I love happy mail. She wrote me a little card. I keep all your cards because you guys, you know, when I'm feeling like crap, I read them. 
Uh, she says, hi, Kathy. I saw this and thought of you and Rocky. My sweet Oliver's hair always seems to make it into my projects. Thanks for your inspiration, Laurel. Thank you, Laurel. Um, do you like lemonade and salt? I love anything salt. Okay, so Laurel McKenzie. Okay, Christina. I love it. It says, it says, which I know it's backwards too, but it says dog hair, both a fashion accessory and a condiment. <laughs> right? I'm always eating dog hair. Dog hair, both a fashion accessory and a condiment. That's going right in my kitchen. Thank you so much, Laurel. I love it. Um, I don't know if Laurel's on here, but I'll, can you move the camera down some? You want to move the camera down some? Why I'm not crafting. Or did I not hold it up there, right? Okay. This is from Lisa Seiler. Lisa Seiler, are you in here? Um, that's a clean brush. Hey, Kelly Maddox. Beautiful day here in Ohio. Uh, this is from Lisa Seiler. And it says, one chick to another. Little, like, little inspirational book. It says, hello, my beautiful feet, sweaty friend. I saw this in a favorite shop of mine, The Painted Tree. And I thought of you and our precious group of chicks. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you, Lisa Seiler. She gave me another, and look, one chick to another, because we're all chicks here at Boreal Funky Junk. It says, I feel pretty, oh so pretty. Look at these cute little pictures of chicks. A true friend is one who thinks you're a good egg, even if you're half cracked. So it's like little inspirational quotes, and she left me little sticky notes in here. A wise old rooster once said, you keep flapping your gums like that, and you'll get your tongue sunburned. So a cute little inspirational book. Thank you, Lisa Seiler. I'm going to... Oh, she's got notes in here. I'm going to have to read every single page in this. I love it. It's going to sit up on the shelf in the Sparkle Studio. That's cute, isn't it? Um, here's some new pages from Reba Rose Creations. You can find Reba Rose Creations in my link tree. I do not have an affiliate with her, but she was kind enough to offer us a uh, All My Sparkle Chicks a 10% discount with the code SPARKLE. Um, and look at, so these are the papers from the Man Cave collection. Father's Day is coming up, y'all, in the next couple months. Great, great thing to do to um, get ready for Father's Day. Beautiful pirate ship. Um, some boats. Ducks. Oh, that's Gianna. Some farm animals and some trucks and she does the most beautiful designs I'm not kidding you gorgeous airplanes I want to make this one for Big Daddy and I want to make something out of these motorcycles for Big Daddy I love this one my brother-in-law Matt would like that one and this one he's a boater uh, so again these are Reba Rose here's some old vintage cars which I know a lot of you like some birds some I think these are moose um, Little Bambi for the hunters. Um, trains. Um, black bears. Look at how beautiful they are. She's such a great job. Fly fishing in a river. Um, guitars. So see, these are all from the Man Cave collection. I love, I want to do something for Mike with this one. He loves lions. Here's a cool, like, um, medieval dragon in a, a, a knight little hunting lodge, another like French country rooster theme, and then here's some other ones I got. Um, this is so beautiful. I love these. They'd be pretty in a coaster set, and look at that little pink tractor. That's where I want to live. And then we got some blue butterflies, and then I love these old trucks. So there's that one. It's really cute. So those again are Reba Rose. Um, they're beautiful. 
Um, and these are from the Man Cave collection. And if you use the code SPARKLE, you get 10%. So that's just exclusively for you guys, you sparkle chicks. I did a post on this a couple days ago too for her. She's so sweet. Um, so that's that. And then I've got this. Oh, this isn't Happy Mail, but I know what it is, so we'll open it up together. This is Paint Pixie. I, I got some stuff. I ordered some stuff from Paint Pixie. Jeez, please. I think she painted the box shut. Okay. Oh, it's my paint. I got some Onyx paint and some new Paint Pixie New Penny, which you can also find in my link tree. I needed that, so this box is garbage. Um, and then I did order some new Paint Pixie French Tip brushes. I love these brushes. So these are the French Tip from Paint Pixie. You guys are uh, snobs. Now this is um, this is a girl that reached out to me. She's from the Pickers Palace. I do not have a link or anything. Um, she just sent me some really cool, she's like fairly new, more rice papers. Um, and she sent me some Pentart Chameleon Varnish, so I've never tried with that. And she is from, where's that envelope at? Oh, the Pickers Palace. And that's on Facebook, but she creates her own um, she creates her own tissue paper, but these are big. So look at, this is all, but that's the image. But if I open this up, this is gonna be, this is gonna cover a good square footage. Oh, I love the horse picture too. So as you can see, that's the image, but, so she gave me the rice paper, and then this is the tissue paper. So see, these are pretty big. The Pickers Palace. I'll get a link and I'll do a uh, I'll do a um, a short little video and upload it to you. Um, we were chatting an email, so I want to make sure I'm gonna plug the right thing. But that's where it's from, Pickers Palace. And then they're just like abstract, you know, stuff like pretty backdrops. And this is just tissue paper, a little blue truck. That's some rice paper, some more backdrops with butterflies. It looked like this is the big tissue paper. So we got that. Always, always fun playing around. I love people who create things. It's so cool. Even if digital art. I mean, we all, all love this stuff. And then this is from Joy Smith. Joy Smith, are you in here? I don't know if Laurel, Lisa, or Joy are in here today. I know Joy was watching earlier. Okay. Jana, your auction's at seven, right? Yeah. She's keeping half of her inventory. Not half. I've got one, two, three, four, five. It's hard sometimes, folks, to let it go. All right, Joy Smith, what did you get in your sister? Let's see. You're here. All right, Joy, you're here. Oh, look at it. See, me and my cardinal. Little cardinal. Sent me happy mail, but it's at my apartment. So oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, get it once I go back there. I'm going to read this in a hot second. Had these and thought of you, they just look like something you would like. You can bling them or even sell them if you don't want them. The price is so you, and it's old, but it's an auction. You're back. I told you it's just something that it's so you enjoy. Oh, thank you, Joy. And I'm gonna read the other half because I know it's about the book, but um, I gotta, I gotta like absorb that. Joy okay. sent me, oh, totally dazzled. I've never seen these. Look at how pretty these are. These are the napkin rings, right? Look at how stinking pretty. Huh. See, I need to order more of these. Look at how pretty these are. Get a whole little bag of those. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at that. 
It's a bracelet. Whoa. Okay, let's go on me right now. I love that. See, I love, I love like wrist parties up to my elbows. I swear to God, I would do it. Oh, I feel something in here. Okay, this is a lid to something, but I'm digging it already. Here, Gianna, you're going to need all kinds of bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, look at how pretty. Oh, that's cute. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't oh, think wait, that, I don't think that goes together. Hold on. <laughs> There it is. Is that the only? Yeah. Oh, this. Oh, look at how stinking cool that is. It's like a genie. Oh, that's now cool. that goes on there. Is there a lid that goes on this one, or did I miss it? Oh, yep. Oh, yep. It's like a genie in a bottle. I'm digging it. Now that goes together. <gasps> Look at how pretty. Uh, yes, I love this. Um, I already see what it's going to be in my head. These are so stinking awesome. This is kind of stuff you guys got to look for, like at the Goodwill and stuff, because how cool is that? That's like a, it's like an Aladdin bottle. I don't think I'm seeing comments on the iPad again. No, I'm not. What the heck? That was happening to me the other day. Or when I was in your private group, I had to call my phone and look at them. I'm here, but my comments are not showing. I know, I see the one where you said I'm here, and then they're showing on my phone, but they're not showing on my iPad. I don't know if it's a book thing. It's got to be a book thing. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I kept wondering, like, God, all of you guys are not are not commenting. Hey, Erin. Um, hi, Lena. Hi, Janice. Hey, Sylvia. Okay, so good. I'm just seeing them now. Now they're coming back on the iPad. I swear to God, I can't wait. Um, these are amazing. Thank you so much, Joy. I love it. I love the Totally Dazzle. And I want to make sure that that's all that's in that box. I don't like to throw anything away. Okay. So that's just kind of all in there. How much fun it was today. We made a beautiful sign. And I hear Rocky's excited. He wants to go outside. Anyway, y'all, I will see you back here again at 7. Uh, Gianna is going to be cross-posting her live to my page. So, um give her a little bit more exposure. Um, so I hope you guys join her at 7 p.m. at Gianna Marie Boutique. You want to go to her page, um, but it will be cross-posted to mine, but try to get over there to her page, and then we'll be watching. Um, but I will tell you, she will, so if you want to bid on her stuff, don't watch it on my page. You want to watch it on hers because those are the comments that we are going to be, you know what? I'm not going to cross post it. I'm going to share it to my page because that would be weird. So yeah, we'll just share it to my page. So Gianna Marie Boutique, it's on Facebook. Go check her out. 7 p.m. Eastern tonight is her auction. Uh, she's got about 20 things and it'll work just like my auctions do and it's going to be a good time. And then, you know, we'll have some chats and some laughters and um, for Gianna on her first ever uh, auction here on Facebook. So I will see you guys tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, and I will share it onto my page, Gianna Marie Boutique. So if you guys aren't uh, following her along already, you should. Anyway, today was awesome, guys. I love you. And I will see you later on tonight. Bye, everyone.